Sleeping Beauty. Come on, open your eyes. That's it. Welcome to the land of the living, my dear friend. It's about time you decided to wake up. <laughs> Sorry, perhaps I hit you a bit too hard on the head. Oh, come now, don't give me that look. I said I was sorry. <laughs> now, you're probably wondering, why has my best friend taken me hostage in her basement, and why does it look like she's going to kill me at any given moment? Don't worry, I'll tell you why. But first, a small pop quiz. Do you recognise this man? Oh yes, of course you do, it's your father, dearest. Question number two. And final question, of course. <laughs> Pretty simple. Pretty easy, dare I say. Hmm? Do you know this man? <laughs> Why the puzzled look on your face, dear? It's alright if you don't know the answer. Allow me to help. This man is the one that your father murdered in cold blood in front of his entire family, simply because he was about to expose his dirty little secrets into the company that they both built together. Fun, isn't it? But fun fact, that man was my father. Don't think I've heard time and time again of how your daddy dearest slanders his name. You really are a spoiled princess, aren't you? <laughs> What's that? Oh, sorry. I can't seem to understand what you're saying through that muzzle on your face. <laughs> uh, just a second. Oh dear, the yelling, the scream for help. Why don't you scream louder? I don't think they can hear you. <laughs> oh, <laughs> threatening me. <laughs> oh, sweetheart, you don't understand the position you're in, don't you, princess? Well, to put things bluntly, I'm taking back what's mine, and it starts with you. <laughs> you see that company that your father dearest runs so perfectly is actually mine. I am the rightful owner of that company, and your father has wrongfully taken it from me without my permission. He knew that my father planned on giving it to me when I was the right age, but he was greedy and took it by force. <laughs> oh dear. Are we at that point where I tell you that I'm using you to get closer to your father and plan out my revenge like a normal person would? Because it appears so. <laughs> I mean, look at you. You're tied to the chair in my basement. Nobody can hear you. <laughs> And then there's me, with all my lovely, delectable gadgets that I oh so forgot to clean. <laughs> Friends. Oh, sweetie. We've never been friends. Never have and never will be. I just did what I had to do. Gain your trust, get close to you. And then I thought in time you would give me your father dearest on a silver platter. But then it appeared to me that how on earth was I going to get one of the most powerful men in the city begging for his life like my father did? all those years ago. So then I thought of another plan. 
have him crumble like the dirty dog he is for the sake of his dear daughter's life. <laughs> Just for the record, I have no intention of killing you, but if push comes to shove, I will if necessary. <laughs> now, how about we give old daddy a call? See what he has to say, knowing that his little princess's life is at stake. <laughs> ah, your struggles are adorable. Your attempt to free yourself is honestly just so cute. But unfortunately, you're going to be staying like this until I decide to let you free. So you're going to be stuck with me for a while. Might as well get used to it. <laughs> oh my god, here it is. The, I thought we were friends. I trusted you. I gave you everything. Did our friendship mean nothing to you? Did all those years of friendship mean nothing to you? Oh, but honey, it did. Ah. <laughs> uh, oh dear. Those kids are out on the street again. <laughs> Might as well get used to their screams for a little bit. Hmm? <laughs> what? Those kids aren't really going to bother me when I have an agenda to attend to. I've thought of nothing but avenging my father, and simply getting close to you was my only option. Yes, I did pity you at times, but... That's as far as the friendship goes. All smiles and happy times were all... fake. <laughs> you know, I won't lie to you. I did enjoy those times very much so, but... it didn't really mean anything to me. I was simply using you. That is it. Oh, what's the matter? Did I hurt you? <laughs> Look into my eyes. Tell me, what do you see? The eyes of a kidnapper? The eyes of your dearest, best friend? Or the eyes of a heartless killer? Hmm. Oh, are you going to start crying? Well, before you go on to the how I betrayed you, let me make things clear. I have so much blood on my hands that I have no idea how many people I had to get rid of to be in this position with you, my dear. <laughs> like I said, so many gadgets I forgot to clean. <laughs> You want to know something? People like you sicken me. The hopeful type. This isn't some anime where the power of friendship will destroy all evil. <laughs> Especially when that evil is standing right in front of you. And happens to be your best friend of what? Fifteen years? <laughs> the power of friendship is all fake. Our friendship was all a lie. You know, it's funny how we use friendship to destroy all evil. <laughs> ah, look at you. Aren't you just adorable? Uh, fuck. <laughs> you almost bit my fingers off. <laughs> How rude. And here I thought you liked headpats. <laughs> Last time I fucking do that. <laughs> Jeez, I didn't know you were this feisty. Now, moving on. <laughs> Let's get on with it, shall we? What's your password? The password to your phone? 
Oh dear, facial recognition. My, my. Be a good girl and hold still for me. Hm? We can do this the easy way or the hard way. Either way, I don't care. I said, hold still. Now, where is... Ah, uh, found it. <laughs> but, come to think of it, a phone call would be too bland. No. But, I guess it'll have to do for now. <laughs> Please leave your message. Oh dear. Voicemail. It appears he has no time to answer you, princess. Oh dear. <laughs> but there are other ways to get through that thick skull of his. And I'm not talking about bullets. <laughs> What does it look like I'm doing? See this? It's a message to your dear old daddy. And this is a picture of you in my basin. Therefore, he should get the message that his little princess is a danger. <laughs> now, all we have to do is wait for... That. <laughs> Now that we've got his attention, we can do this. Oh dear, oh how clumsy am I. I accidentally dropped your precious phone, oh dear. The screen doesn't look cracked though. It's okay, we can fix that. Much better. What? If you're going to say something, just spit it out. I don't have all day. I have places to be, next to break, people to stab. So would you kindly hurry it up? Oh dear, you're crying again. Now what? What? What did you say? You... Hang on. You're saying that you loved me? You loved me? <laughs> oh, my goodness. You know, you say a lot of ridiculous things, but this is by far the number one slot of ridiculousness. <laughs> Ah, oh, I hate to break your heart, sweetie, but I'm not lovable. I can't love, nor can I be loved. I lost that part of me a long time ago. I realise that love is too messy. It gets in the way of things. It prevents you from getting anything done. Do you not realise the situation you're in? You're here, bound to a chair, being threatened with the possibility of being killed, and yet here you are, saying that you love me. Look, you're an extremely attractive woman. You're beautiful, intelligent, super dorky, but it's cute. However, with me, With me, you're not safe. 
heck, look at you. I knocked you out with a baseball bat, for fuck's sake. I'm threatening to kill you if your father doesn't meet my demands. I'm not safe for you. I'm not safe to be with anybody. I find it cute that you don't care, but... I'm sorry, dollface. But I can't. Now, y you behave down here. Don't do anything stupid while I'm gone. I'll go bring you some food. <laughs>